to do with this type of with the paper too because sometimes people put too much and it kind of bumps. Yeah, it's happened to me before. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure to do that be wet, but not not like saturated. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, I hope I'm here at the right place because none of this looks familiar to me. I know it's been a while since I've been out here. And if I'm not mistaken, that right there used to be, used to hold water. You know, when it looked like it was surrounded by like a little lake or something. So I'm hoping that where I need to be is over there. And I know we used to park free, but um, that's good. Well, we have the boot prints. We haven't been to things like this. All right. This is my first time actually filming, and I think people are probably setting up to go. I don't even know what time it is. I need to find Heartfelt, because I need to get some stuff from them. What time is it? It is 2.04. see, this is Keep It Simple. Oh, they have bags. They got just a girl with some scissors crafting is cheaper than therapy and my biggest fear is what is when I die my husband will sell all my craft supplies for what I told him that oh my good God Almighty mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, I might get back I might come back and get one of those bags oh here it is heartfelt so I need to go in here Oh, I need to come in here and sit down and, and see what's up. Scrap that. Oh, they got that big. They got my double sided stick tape over there. That's scrap. So sorry about that, guys. That's scrap that. And my double sided stick tape. Yeah, I need to get some of that. Because my store ain't here. Mr. Um. Oh, God. What's the name of that store? Tall Mouth. They're not here. And I'm upset. All right. Let me get in here and get what I need. I just want to show you guys some of the beautiful cards that they're making here at Heartfelt Creations. These are so nice. Uh, look at that really pretty peachy one up there. Oh my god. They are so pretty. Look at the butterfly one. Right. Look at that. And they have that one right there. So I'm not going to go through all of these because it's a lot. I was trying to see if they had the dye up here. I think the dye is all sold out though. Oh, there's something right there. I don't, they don't look like the same one, but I'll see. I'm at a, one of the booths called Rubbernecker. And this is the only stamp here that I know of that have African American stamps. They are so cute. I got the one that had Ella Fitzgerald on it and a couple of other people, but they didn't have the dye. And all the problem is I don't color. I wish I did color, oh my God. This would be the bomb. So there's the farmer's market. So I'm gonna head out. I want to get one of these so bad, but again, I just don't color. Jeez. But for $7.50, I might grab one anyway. Guys, photo play is in the building. And they have their paper kits for four for 20 They don't have the Tula and Norbit one, but there is Christmas ones. Uh, they got, oh, there goes the Norbert birthday party. Now my understanding is this was the first uh, Christmas one, and then this one, and that one, and that one. Uh, well, that's not Christmas, that's Halloween. And they got Gnome Holiday, but this one is supposed to be the first one. Um, and maybe I did know about photo play, just never paid attention to the name. But they are really pretty colored papers. Yeah. So, if you ever get a chance, get yourself some photo play. They even got the gnome 
dies and the stamps. This Christmas stuff, dies and stamp. So let's keep shopping. Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, I don't even know what today is, but it is a Monday. The Monday after the Scrapbook Expo, Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. And I just want to show you the few things I got. I didn't get anything major. I did, however, attend a class, thanks to Miss Simply Shantae. And I'm going to have a discussion with her later. But it wasn't a bad thing. I believe me, it really wasn't. Let me show you the first thing that we got. Okay, for attending the show, you got this bag. It says, Create Something Beautiful Today from Spectrum More. And in the bag was this pen. Coloring pen, ink, whatever you want to call it. So I got that. And, of course, again, I don't use those things. <laughs> I may, but don't hold me to it. I know I, right now it's not going to happen. This was the bag that I purchased at the show itself. And this is it. You can, there it is. It's really nice. Just a girl with some scissors. Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Yeah. Love this bag. I think that's about the third one I got. I get one every year. They didn't have any, um... Coffee mugs this year pissed me off. I got this pen. This I got, and you guys don't have to excuse the glare. This one says "Come to Georgia." Well, I'm sorry, Stamp and Scrapbook Expo comes to Georgia. This one says "Crafting Diva," and this one says, "Oh, this one right here is what I returned," and they don't. Um, I guess since they had all this stuff from 2020 because everything was canceled, they didn't have one for 2021, so I'm not mad at them. You know, they ain't nobody got money like that to be doing stuff like that, but it is what it is. What else did I buy? I bought, I don't even know where I got this from, but this is, I got this uh, stamp right here. I'm not a stamp, yeah, it's a die. Where, where did it come from? Craft, craftingcreativity.com. That's that's where this came from. I think this just says Merry Christmas or something. No, naughty or nice and you joy. That's what it is. Naughty or nice and joy. Yeah, there we go. Nice or naughty and then joy. And that was twelve dollars. So I got those. Didn't have, I most definitely don't have anything that says like naughty or nice. I got Merry Christmas, you know. I don't even know if I got Happy New Year. I'm sure I'll do somewhere if I can find it. But naughty or nice, I did not have. So I went on and picked that up. I went to a place where I don't really, I always buy stuff from them and don't really use it. But I'm going to show you what I got this time out. And I don't remember prices, guys, so don't hold me to any of this stuff. No prices at all. Oh, these were a dollar though. I got these um, eyelets from Eyelet Outlet. All the, this next group of stuff came from Eyelet Outlet. So I got these eyelets here. I got three silver and one black. Let's see what else. I got these bees. Where are you? Here we go. I got these bees right here. And I just I thought they were cute. And I think it's these bees, yes. These bees right here fit in the little hole in the bee hive right here. So this kind of goes together like that. And then here's another little set of bees. And I just thought they were super, super cute. Here are some butterflies, and those, and those are brats, by the way. Here are some butterflies. Different colors, they are pretty too. And the last thing I got from Island Outlet were these, like, pearl brads. Let me see. Let me take them out, at least. Because the bags are kind of cloudy. Okay, these pearl brads. Right here. 
There we go. And these, uh, what I was to wear for these. Uh, I can't think because I want to say diamond, but they're not diamonds. Y'all know that. But these like acrylic bead ones, rhinestones. That's what they are. These rhinestone brass. I thought they were cute. So got those from Islet Outlet. And let me see what was next. Though so I went to wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, 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 okay. Wait a minute. Hold up. I got another pack of bees. And these are some teeny, 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 just 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter bead brads. These are super small. Check these out. Oh, hammer. Oh, look, that's three of them. I just thought it was like two. And that's three. They're so small. Look at this. Can you guys see those? Those are so tiny. Teeny weeny beads, teeny beads, teeny weeny brads. Okay, let's put that over there. Um, you may or may not know that for the craft fair this year, I did decide to attend and uh, participate. And I'm not really creating like all the stuff that I did before because the last time I really I sold enough of it, but it was I just brought too much of it back home. And I didn't want to do that again. And so this year, what I decided to do, I'm not doing any traveler's notebooks. I'm not doing any, like, the tea, um, tea holders or not even the hot cocoa pack holders. No, none of that. I'm going to be doing um, these type of things. Like, like, if you see these right here, these are from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take these along with these dowels and make like a uh, brass cog and I'm going to be I'm going to try to sell those at the craft fair see if, how they do because the last time I was there it just seemed like people were buying stuff to decorate with they bought more stuff to decorate with than they bought as gifts and I think that may have been because it's so far out from the um, Christmas the time is like at least six weeks so I don't know so that's what I'm gonna be trying to do I'm not gonna even do any um, what I, I had of gratitude journals I'm not doing those anymore but well, this year uh, like I said no travelers notebooks a lot of stuff like a, no tea bag holders no cocoa hot cocoa packs none of that I'm not doing any of that this year unless I change my mind at the last minute which I seriously doubt it I am going to I am going to make about six journals and the theme of those six was, are going to be charmed and if you remember that TV show I never really watched it but it was called charmed and it was uh, no the only person's name that I could tell you off the top was uh, Alyssa Milano and so I had these I downloaded uh, the Charm Book of Spells, or Book of Shadows, I'm sorry, years ago. Like in 2014, I think. The fan pages. And I've had them forever. So I said, well, let me try and use those this year to see if they would, you know, make a fairly decent journal. So these are some of the pages that I'm working with. I used some of the the black and white stickers on the sides here. These are this is not finished at all. I got to put in some tabs, stuff like that, and do a few other things. And I uh, printed this little swirl, like these little things. So I'm not done with these, and I'm doing three signatures each each book I just don't know how big the book is going to be once I get it filled with ephemera or decorated then I can see how I'm going to bind this book or how thick the um the what is this part at the back how thick that part is going to be it's a shame I can't remember nothing when I need to 
Okay, and so with that in mind, not only am I going to do six Book of Shadows, I'm going to do two Harry Potter ones. And now what I've done is actually ordered the hardback books from a thrift store. And I'm waiting on those to come in. And I'm going to gut the book and make the journal out of the actual book. So I bought a few things just to try and decorate the pages. I got the the ties from each house. The yellow, the red, the blue, and the green. I got wands. These wands were $3. I just got a couple packs of those. And I got two of the Harry Potter, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call these things, titles. And... I think that's it for uh, just this, these little few items right here. Let me put these back in this bag. I don't know how those things are actually going to sell at all. I'm buying a few extra things to go in the Harry Potter um, journals. So I can just, you know, I, gotta, I can't do nothing but wait and see. And hopefully... You know, people were like, like I said, I'm only going to do two. And I hope that, you know, they like them enough to at least buy them. Okay. And the last thing that I bought, I don't say the last thing I bought, but the last thing I'm going to show you guys is some stuff I got at Heartfelt Creations. Where is my thing? There they are. Now, what I, what I got, because I actually said I would never buy this stuff because it's too expensive. And I still stand by that. It's hella expensive. So, but I got the leaves because I, I, I'm, I'm always on the hunt for foliage. So I got this one. It's called Leafy Accents. So I got the stamp. I got the dye. And I got the mold. And for buying uh, the mold and the dye, I got the stamp for free. Because I attended the class. So I got that. And then I'm going to show you what I made in the class. And I'm hoping that this will also help me make better cards. I didn't get like any type of flowers or anything. Because I have so many flower dyes. And I know it's not the same. But at some point in time I may go and get maybe one or two flower dyes but I'm gonna try to use what I got because I have bought a lot of a lot of dyes and I want to use them they're just sitting around doing nothing that's not cute not to me anyway all right this is one of the cards we made let me take it out and I thought it was the cutest thing here it is and you know they they did everything for you what they were ma basically doing was demonstrating these vellum flowers here and there we go and it would open like that and i just like i said i thought it was the cutest thing and here's this one this one was the first one we did that one was second i think this one was the first one we did Again, with the vellum, vellum flowers and using um, the chunky glitter because we had chunky glitter in here. We had some fine glitter as well and these beads in the middle. I would have never thought to put seed beads or these little balls in the middle of a flower. Not I. But, yeah. Did I did I put it on upside down? No, I didn't. I'm surprised. Huh. It's all right. But that's it. And that's that card. And... The last card we did was this one. Let me check it out. Like I said, these are so cute. And they they can take, in my opinion, take your card game, your card making game to the next level. But it's just costs so much to do it unless you're going to sell them. And I don't mean for no little bit of money either because this stuff is expensive. But this is really cute. And I like, I just really like these vellum flowers. I didn't get a chance to finish this one. Um, 
about like putting the beads in or putting any um glitter on it and all that type of stuff i didn't get a chance to do that part i only got a chance to do this one i didn't even do the other one that i showed you the second one but i think it's really cute okay do i have anything left I, no but we got this little kit here and this is the kit we got extra pages in it and, and this is what the what it looks like I think this was a $40 class. So, like I said, I'm not mad at it. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I may um, take do another one because I'm not, I am not going to be able to just stop and buy uh, heartfelt items like that. I just can't. I, I can't afford it. I love them to death, but I just can't afford it. But I really can't wait to at least get started on the the leaves. I need to get maybe two um, two ink pads. One with a dark green, because we use something called emerald green, and then a lighter green. Some will need to get those at least to stamp the leaves with, and one to put a little tra a lighter color on. And then I could probably work it out. So four pieces, four pieces. So yeah, that is my haul from the scrap. What is it? Stamp and Scrap Book Expo. God, I wish I remember the dates. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. All your comments are truly appreciated. Come back anytime and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, love bugs.